You guys are just downright evil. You give me the best weapon in zombies to do with the worst challenge to get to it. Because in our last video, our top comment was from CJ saying that they want us to do the M79 on Forsaken, but we have to get it gold in multiplayer first. So unfortunately, that's what we'll be doing today. But as a peace offering, they said that we can upgrade PhD to tier five, which is beautiful for the M79. So let's do that real quick. There we go. And that we can upgrade our special category to tier five as well, which will definitely help out with the M79. But before we hop into it, if you wanna leave any weapon challenge or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. And if you don't really care about the whole multiplayer part, I'll have a timestamp here to skip to the zombies portion. But this is why this challenge is absolutely evil. Like the M79 starts out pretty like standard with the challenges for multiplayer, getting like 30 kills with it, which is nothing. And then the very next challenge it's getting long shots with it long shots with the m79 you need 50 of them which doesn't sound like a whole lot but this thing has like assault rifle range for the long shots then we need to get two kills without dying 20 times which isn't the worst thing in the world probably one of the easier challenges for this weapon then we need to destroy 50 equipment score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer which basically just means score streaks and 99 percent of the score streaks are in the air and it makes it even harder to take them down then 50 enemies while taking cover from you which is another evil challenge in this game and then to top it off we need to destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times i've only managed to do this once so far while leveling it up and then after that two or more enemies rapidly 25 times which is just double kills so i'm ready to lock in for the eight hours it's about to take to get it done and just in case you haven't played cold war multiplayer in a while you might have forgotten about flak jacket which makes getting any sort of explosive weapon done infinitely harder because it makes it at least a two-shot kill with the m79 so i just gotta hope the people i'm going against don't have it on or they're already injured and that's just for kills i have no idea how i'm gonna get the score streaks done it's gonna have to be like the the perfect storm of rng i just reminded myself oh shit quick double long shot and a double kill damn right as i go to talk but i have just reminded myself that there was a strategy in cold war for a while where people would just use a, a rocket launcher like the sigma shoot down two score streaks with it and then the third score streak they take out they do with whatever weapon they want to get that camo challenge done with they did it a lot with the rpg and i think i can probably do the same thing here with the m79 so the second spy plane starts showing up i'm switching to a class with the sigma shooting those down and then hopefully somebody brings in like a rcxd or like a, a sentry gun or something i think that's our only hope okay, let's see if this works spy plane number one is gonna go bye bye see you later can i take out the harp does this have flares i don't remember oh it does sick come on is that enough one more oh it's still not done and it's out of here fuck oh never mind they got another harp coming one more rocket i think that should be good and it's out of here okay so harps are impossible to take down cool another harp is coming though so i'm not even gonna try it we are getting slaughtered 63 and 19 56 and 13 42 and 17 there's no hope of survival and even while we're getting slaughtered like this there isn't a single score streak i can take down with this m79 oh never mind they put down a sentry turret where is it come on get the second bullet on there no please let me get it got it let's go is that three in a game Let's go. It does work. We just need to do that every time. The Sigma is going to come in clutch for us, which is something I never thought I'd say. Another strat I just remembered is to just get care packages and give them to the enemy. Ain't no way I'm getting a harp anyways, but if I can somehow get to a care package, there's a chance they could get a sentry gun from it and I could take it out. All right, time to put this to the test. Here's a care package. Enjoy. Free of charge. Please get a sentry gun from it. Oh, it's a war machine. Maybe if I kill somebody while they're holding a war machine, it counts? I don't even know if that works. If not, I can kind of just use it as bait. Ooh, it's working perfect as bait. Multiple uses out of this. All right, let's see if I can take out this fucking attack helicopter. That's one. No, I whiffed. Come on, reload it. Please use the fucking assault pack. Can I not? All right, well then kill me. Please. This is bullshit. Every other time it immediately kills me. There we go. Oh, now it's on the other side of the map. Long shot. No, I whiffed. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Please, please, something, somebody, anywhere. Take me out. Oh, uh, why am I choking? Oh, no, dude. And it's leaving. It's fucking leaving. I hit it once. Why am I invincible when I want to die? Is what I want to know. Oh, we're done with the long shots, finally. Oh, double kills are done. 
Oh, enemies behind cover are gone. We are getting smacked. Holy fuck. Okay, they're fucking us. That's a nuke. This guy's 87 and 6, 54 and 17, 73 and 18, 57, 19, 37, 17. We we're just getting cooked. As if this challenge wasn't hard enough. We're getting pub stomped. We're in somebody's montage. That is all of our equipment. We literally just need one score streak this game. Alright, he got two UAVs down. If we get one sentry gun, one RCXD, maybe even an attack helicopter, we're done. Oh, there's a sentry. This could be it. It's just up in this window. No, 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 no. You don't need to be killing me right now. Oh, is that it? Show me gold. Let's fucking go. It only took five hours. I'm not even joking. Five hours. And we only got 69 points that game. Perfect. Now just take a quick little peek at this. This is blood, sweat, and tears on this gun. And it looks like shit. And now we're into the easy part of the challenge. The simple part of the challenge, if you will. Getting to round 100 with the M79 while we get it Plague Diamond. Now in the comment, they didn't say for us to do this, but it's kind of tradition. And says it's like the best weapon in the game. Might as well quick get a quick round 100, you know? And these camo challenges, it's like night and day playing zombies and multiplayer with this. It took me five hours to get this whole thing done. It might take me four to four and a half, five hours to get all the way to round 100. But I'm sure we'll have like gold viper, plague diamond, whatever on this in like a quarter of the time. Cause we already have a little bit of the challenges done from leveling it up. Shout out to those of you that come by the stream. But the only thing we really need to like actually focus on is getting kills without getting hit. Last time I did this, I think we just sat in like the pizza room here. And you know, I was just shooting at my feet. And I think even though with PhD upgraded and it doesn't do like self explosive damage, it was still counting as self damage for the challenge. So I didn't get my Jackrabbit medals done until like round, it was either 40 or 70. Like that's a wide range, but it was a pretty high round. So I want to try to get this done as soon as possible. That way, all we got to do is relax and shoot at our feet. Some real big brain shit. And honestly, I'm just relieved to be playing zombies because I don't got to shoot down a zombie helicopter. I don't got to take out three zombie score streaks in a game. I'm just going to kill zombie. It ain't that complicated. And Basically, no matter what, I'll be getting progress here. I don't have to rely on the zombies getting enough kills to get the score streaks that I need to take out. I just need to play game. And probably not down myself. It would be very smart for me to not do that. It's just kind of insane the glow up the N79 had when getting PhD into the game. This was like one of the worst weapons that you could ever use in the game. And it just switched to being better than like 99% of the wonder weapons. Actually, I don't think any wonder weapons better than it. But just for, you know, the sake of covering my tracks, I'll say maybe like the ray gun might be better than it. Maybe the Cerberus. But it's definitely the most brainless weapon. I don't have to do nothing. But I should probably get this pack-a-punch soon and get PhD because uh, it's not really doing a whole lot to these zombies at the moment. Wait. Oh, that was our, our little upgraded specialist class right there. Or our special class. I just shot like three bullets without having to reload. So clutch with this gun. Honestly, this was like a really good balance between like challenge and reward. Because we get like basically the best gun in the game with all the upgrades that it needs to do as well as possible. But we had to go and get it done in multiplayer to do that. Which, with that being said, I ain't doing another weapon in multiplayer for a zombies video. This is a one-time thing. You have been warned. If you recommend it, I will not do it. Let's get back to the Easter eggs or something, shall we? We gotta get this super Easter egg done at some point. And since this isn't really doing a whole lot to these zombies, I could stay in the first room for a little bit longer. But if I get to like round 15, I think Abomination starts spawning. And it's gonna be kind of tough to take those guys down. So I should probably take out the one at the portal standing between me and PhD before it gets way too strong. Okay, let's try to speed run getting our parts here. Part number one, but now we got our flashlight, our fryer, and I think that's everything, right? Oh no, I never grabbed the TV. Fucking idiot. Where is it at? There it is. All right, zombies, why don't you guys uh, back the fuck up for a minute? Actually, set on a decoy while I build this. Come on. Clean, go through. It's not ready yet. Oh fuck. I am uh, surrounded. Oh, but I'm insane. Get fucking hurtled. I'm out of here. And right, now it's time to fuck up this abomination. Go ahead and spawn in. I'll take out your buddies while you are. Actually, kiss for good luck. Get Tesla Storm, bitch. And hit. Actually, this is probably not the thing to be doing to him. I should probably be shooting him. 
But it's whatever. I'll stun him a little bit. Get some damage with my Tazzle Storm. Can I upgrade this, actually? Get that to green. A little more damage. What's going on, dude? Eat it. Yeah, this thing's kind of tanking these shots. Let me see if there's any more upgrades I can do. Oh, yeah. Let's get it to blue. Bars. Holy shit. Like, zero of his health is gone. Oh, a nuke? You know what? Fuck it. We could use it. Broke my own armor. Have a nade or two. This thing's fucking resilient. It's only going to take about uh, 600 more of these shots. This should be the last few shots right here. Unless he kills me. Don't do not do that. That'd be kind of fucked up of you to kill me. I'm already doing enough damage to myself. As I was saying. Lame, dude. Oh, wait. Maybe one shot away? Nope. One more. One more should do it. Later, bitch. Oh, I missed. I said, lay to bitch. Oh, fuck. You got stuck on the stairs. Lay to bitch. Please die. I'm starting to get scared. Bro. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. Now, lockdown's lifted. I'll be grabbing PhD. A little pack-a-punch action. I'll grab Shatter Blast. It's not upgraded, so it's not going to do a whole lot, but why not? But I'm also going to switch this to Ring of Fire. And now I need to start scouting out locations for us to grind at. And grind out these rounds and these camos. Because my Aether Shroud isn't fully upgraded, I can't go into the pizza room and do it there. So I have to try to find a different spot to spam my M79 at. But before we do that, like I was mentioning earlier, we got to get all these Jackrabbit camos out of the way. And it's still not killing zombies just knocking them over what the fuck am i this ass i am this ass well act like you didn't see that i'll just get us back to where we were and we're all done with our jackrabbit kills so we don't gotta worry about those anymore and it's almost like nothing happened right nothing did happen right now i'm thinking we either sit right over here in this corner like we did for the first room challenge even though it would be extremely slow with how large this room is or we can go right here into the donut shop this might be pretty decent for us this is like basically the same thing as the pizza room spawns aren't nearly as fast but it's like across the street but if that seems too slow we could also go over here i've seen people talk about this balcony here but I'm going to have to be shooting in multiple directions. Maybe if I sit in this corner, try this out for a little bit. Because it seems like zombies are spawning above me and then I have to climb all the way around and down. Which is not optimal for trying to get to round 100 as fast as possible. It's not like awful though for grinding, but I don't know how I feel about that. The next place I was thinking is right in here. Loose change first. And we've used this spot before when we're grinding up our mastery challenges on our main account. Maybe this will be better. And if even this isn't fast enough, I think I got one more spot we can look at. And that's right through the portal next to these four spawns. So we'll try this little area out. Seems decent enough. But I'm also concerned about the abominations. I don't know what I'm going to do when they show up. Because the M79 doesn't really do a whole lot to them as we saw earlier. It is pack a punch down. We can ring a fire, but those things are still very, very tanky. So I think I have to get a death machine, but I'm uh, kind of low on funds for a death machine on top of needing to upgrade this as much as possible. And there's the abomination we're talking about. Okay, time to see if this works. Does not look like it's doing a whole lot. And I should probably get the fuck out of here. That's going to be a fucking issue. Maybe pack a punch too will help me out here. And does a little bit more. But this guy still tanks every fucking shot I send his way. Bye, bitch. Oh, we got our chemical camo. That's like five or more enemies with... I don't fucking know. Easy ass camo is basically what it was. Once I get this up to pack three and I get like enough perks, the rampage inducer is coming on. Oh, hell no. Get the fuck out of here, abomination. See you later, bitch. Oh, we're all done with our special and elites, I think. Another easy challenge. Oh, and there's our rotten camo. All done with the normal kills. Do I even have to say it? Piece of cake, dude. Yeah, I think I like this spot. Seems pretty good. Only problem is I got to run all the way over here to get a death machine whenever this one decides to run out. But besides that, I think we're good to go ahead and start grinding out these rounds. So let's grab pack three. Um, we should probably upgrade this a bit more. If I have enough scrap for it, I think I should. Yeah, we can at least get a purple. And let's go ahead and turn on this rampage inducer. Hopefully I don't regret this. Yeah, I think we can handle this. Knock on wood. Y'all got to do it for me. I'm gaming. If you don't do it and I die, it's your fault. I just want to let you know. I'm talking to you, Jared. Oh, shit. The fuck are you doing here? Let's not die. Cool. Okay. 
Never mind, not cool. And now we don't have PhD. I'm scared. Just gotta stay calm. Act like the zombies aren't even here. And we just need to make our way back to the Pack-a-Punch room, which was easy enough. This is the safest perk to go back and get to. I'll be taking that. And we only have 56 bullets left in this death machine. That needs to change. We need a new one. And our perk's back. But I think we're, like, good. Knock on wood. And we're back to business. I don't even know what camo challenges we have left. I think maybe Pack-a-Punch kills? And I don't know what else. It might literally just be Pack-a-Punch kills. Oh, and there's the diamond camo. We actually got it. Let's fucking go. And now we got 70 rounds of grinding and killing zombies to do. This is actually just so mindless. The only thing that scares me is I sometimes can't see when the abomination spawns. And I kind of just got to get lucky that I notice him before he charges me. Oh, shit. That's another down. That's not good. Well, guys, self revive here. Where the abomination go? I just want to talk. Decoys out. We got our self revive back. The strat is like foolproof until an abomination just shows up out of nowhere. And we're halfway there officially. Quick little round 50 on them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's a fucking crawler eating my toes that whole time. Fuck this crawler. I'm going down, you're going down, buddy. Come here. There we go. Uh, okay, maybe... We're not doing too good over here. We have to self-revive, and we don't have PhD. We have to somehow get to pack a punch. So let's hit our self-revive. And teleport. <sighs> I have to make it all the way over to this other portal. Go through that and up the zip line. That's our only way to survive here. And we're kind of dusting these zombies. They're slow as fuck. Oh, Tempest! Why are you fucking camping, bitch? All right, we got PhD slider back, which is good. But we do not have a self-revive. We do not have quick revive. I'm gonna try to go down here and grab it. Or the Tempest is still fucking chilling at. All right, I got quick revive. I really wish I could just go in the pizza room. It'd be so much easier. But now we need to find a spot to pop this ring of fire at and hopefully finish out the round. Looks like that spot's right here. Which would be perfect, because once we clear them out a bit, we'll be able to buy some armor back. There is a carpenter, though. Might be easier. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a decoy over there. Quick carpenter on him. Oh, shit. Give me that nade. And you zombies can eat that nade. Stay away from me. Holy fuck. I think we're down to the last few zombies, though, and a lot of them are crawling. Can I buy a self-revive really quick? I can. Ooh. Now we just need to go get our perks. And we're, we're back in business. All right, from here on out, we are not going down. Oh, shit. I didn't even fucking realize there's an abomination right here. And that's what I get, I guess. Fuck you. We're still making it through. I can't fucking see anything. Sick. Well, we're right back to where we started. At least I still have PhD. But no self-revive, no quick revive. We have to do the same shit again. This spot's looking like it's not working too well. We're on to our sixth down of the game. Let me grab quick revive. Just as a little blanket insurance policy. Oh, fuck. I don't know where to go. Oh, no. Run. We need to throw some decoys. Because for whatever reason, I can't fucking kill any of these elites. So I need to get... Enough kills to get a ring of fire here. Otherwise, I'm fucking toast. Because this disciple, no matter how much damage I do to it, it seems like it takes all that health right back for me. Fuck it. Death machine. And we're out of that. Sick. Fuck. I'm panicking so hard. Leave me the fuck alone. Completely out of equipment. But I do have my ring of fire. Uh, let's go back to that spot we did it before. Ring of fire. Shoot. Come on. Oh no, we're getting fucking low on ammo too. This is the, the worst storm of events that could happen. Perfect storm for the zombies. Oh, ammo. Let's go. Fuck off. No, no, no. I'm stuck. I'm out. Run. Holy shit. This has been a fucking roller coaster of a round. Got another ring of fire. Come on. Let's finish this round. I think we're doing it. We're fucking doing it. Let's hit this nuke. Fuck it. Is that the round? It's still not the round somehow, but it bought us enough time. We got all the necessities and only one zombie left. Beautiful. Couldn't have had a more perfect ending in that round. Well, we could have just not gone down at all, but we couldn't have had a more perfect clutch. And now we're back to the streets where we began on health cap this time around. 
And I'm out of fucking ammo. I don't know if this is sustainable. I don't know how I fucking did this before on this map. Oh my God, grab the ammo. So if every round we're having to fucking run around like this and go do chores, it's not looking good for us. Oh, this is fucked up. I have to self-revive here. There's no other way for me to fucking get a kill. Let's see if I can sneak in another self-revive over here. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Please, one ring of fire. Thank you. What the fuck am I missing on this run? I feel like I, I, I've done round 100 on Forsaken at least 10 times. What possible upgrade or weapon do I need? We got Ring of Fire all the way upgraded. We got our specials all the way upgraded. We got our fucking PhD all the way upgraded. What else is there to do? What am I missing here? Why is this all of a sudden not working? Do they nerf the M79? Impossible. Why would they be nerfing something like this years after the game has come out? Am I washed? All I know is I'm sweating like shit. The game's got me stressing. My fucking office is like 90 degrees. I've been doing nothing but playing this shit for the last eight hours. Maybe it's fucking safer out here. Maybe we just need to move spots. And we have successfully completed the rampage inducer. Very narrowly snuck by. They don't fucking fool around over here, I'll tell you what. I'm trying out Jim's Donuts. Okay, already uh, not looking the greatest. Insane nade. Get another one in there. Disciple, fuck off. Ring of fire. Clean. Almost out of ammo. Disciple brought me some though. Appreciate it. Oh, I need a good mule kick back. I need to get my fucking perks back. No wonder ammo is a fucking issue. And there's only like a zombie left. That's the last time I'm buying my perks back. And now we can see the true potential of Jim's donuts. I only think this area will be easier because I'll be actually able to see when an abomination is coming. Before, there was no walls in front of me in that other area, so I wouldn't outline it if it was in front. Now, if I just turn a little bit, or just, you know, where I'm looking right now, I don't think I can spawn in this building. So I got a pretty good chance of catching it before it actually gets into the premises. Like right there. I was saying all that with one walking up on me, and I had no idea. I'm gonna be real with you guys. And it's tanking this death machine. Bring a fire with it. And I'm down. Sick. And I'm back up because I'm the greatest. This is getting fucking old. That's our eighth down. I don't know if I can get out of here. Hold on. Decoy. Go to it. Get the... What the fuck was that? I got Goomba stomped. They just trampled me on their way to the decoy. All right. Well, there goes my self-revive. Still got PhD though. So joke's on them. Eat shit, zombies. No, 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 no. We only made it to fucking 56 and went down... 10 times with a staggering 22 crits. But I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't relieved. I'm sweating my dick off in here. But this gun still is good enough to carry me all the way to round 57 despite the low brain activity. And most importantly, I think we actually have Plague Diamond unlocked now. Before we had like a fake unlock or like I just randomly got it for getting the hammer and sickle done. Now we actually have it. And just in case you're curious, this is what the M79 looks like in game with Plague Diamond. Probably the best camo combination on this gun because the camo coverage on it sucks. Like we saw earlier with gold, just where the diamonds are on this is the only place camos show up. So Plague Diamond having a nice secondary color of this purple, beautiful for this weapon. And even though we got our shit rocked and we only made it to round 57, I'm pretty happy with what we got done today. We got this done all the way in multiplayer, got it all the way done in zombies and made a pretty decent high round run. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.